Aloha, my friends. We're having a heat wave here today. It's like 62 degrees, and I'm loving it. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's the first day of May. So what I like to do on this show is to bring you some of my own personal due diligence on a hot penny stock that I found through the day. I am immersed in penny stocks all day, virtually every day. I post a lot of news about penny stocks all over the internet. I trade penny stocks from bell to bell. And in case you didn't know, I make videos about penny stocks. Penny stocks are any stock under five bucks and you can find them on every market. It's just about price, nothing else. And I am always looking for a penny stock that has potential to make us money. Well, I got one for us today. This is ticker RDGL Vivos Inc. But before we dive into the stock, I want to share a few tidbits of information I came across today while I was doing all my research. In case you haven't already heard, the DEA has agreed to reschedule cannabis. And folks, this is going to be a big deal. Already, the Congress has come together today and they have submitted a bill to quote unquote legalize marijuana. Now, not only is this going to help the cannabis sector, it is going to start to fly, but I think it's going to help the OTC market. We have a lot of marijuana companies on the major exchange, but none of those are from America if they touch the plant. If you touch the plant and you're an American company, you have to stay on the OTC. And most of the good cannabis companies are up at the top of the OTC, all up at the QX, waiting to uplist onto the major exchange once this happens. Now, here's the big deal. There are about, oh, I don't know, three, four, five hundred cannabis companies on the OTC market, all different levels. I think they're all going to run. I think there's a buyer for every single cannabis stock, whether it be at $10 or triple zero three. I think there's going to be buyers. When you have hundreds of stocks all starting to climb, maybe even running at the same time, the market's going to get attention. You're going to get those cannabis investors all coming back in. This is what they've been waiting for. They're all going to come back in. You had a lot of investors leave the OTC because it went dead. Two years ago, we were doing 60 to 70 billion shares a day. For the last two years, we've been surviving on one to five billion shares. We've been anorexic, folks. So I'm thinking if we get hundreds of stocks running in the same day, we're going to prime the OTC market back into action, kick up that 5 billion to 10, 15, 20 billion shares, start pulling in more investors, and we're off and running. That's what I'm thinking. The other thing I want to share with you, not related to stocks, but you should at least be aware of this. AI is exploding around the world and it's growing at an incredible rate and we don't know how fast it can really grow. Well, we just had a situation occur yesterday. An AI made a surprise appearance online on the internet. It was not invited. We don't know who owned it. It just showed up and it did things exceeding anything an AI has done before. It showed off its powers and then it just disappeared. That's a little concerning. <laughs> so I thought I'd drop that into your lap as well. But you know what was strange through all my research and due diligence today? I didn't find one piece of information on this stock. Uh-uh. That's the weird thing. I feel a bit funny sharing this with you because she has no catalyst. She hasn't had any news presses since December. And we're going to look at that one because it is important. But she's had no fresh catalyst and yet... Her chart is exploding, folks. Since the last two days of February, she has been climbing. Over two months of climbing without any catalyst. You'd think she had news coming out every single week just to keep it going. Uh-uh. All through March, she had a nice steady climb. I mean, it was a nice incline. And then came April, boop, she put it into third gear and started ripping up the mountain. And she doesn't look like she's going to stop. Well, when you see a chart running that hard, you figure there's got to be a catalyst somewhere. It's just hiding. I've got to do deeper research. So I did. There is nothing. There is, though. It's right there in front of us. It's what they do. And I'm going to explain this more to you folks. But what they do is they have found a safe, quick way to get rid of tumors. And it is successful. It's already been proven to work in animals over and over and over again. And we are right at the cusp of getting it for humans. So we are looking at ticker RDGL Vivos Inc. 
She finished the day just about 21 cents and she was up almost 21%. Now she's on the middle tier of the OTC, which is a lot better than the bank. Up here, you have to have a CPA look at your financials. You got to get them audited, which means we're getting validated numbers. Pinks, they give us financials, but no CPA looked at them. Those are just numbers the management's handing off to us and we got to do all the accounting. Yeah, like that's going to happen. So now we've got fundamentals. We can actually weigh the company up. Plus, we've got the validated information. This is all you get on pinks, but you want to see them on all the stocks. Verified profile and a transfer agent verified. So this is looking real good. So what is this company about? Well, you know, I normally would use this description right here because it's not bad and then just jump over to the website for a little fill in. But we've got a situation here. They have launched a new website today. Yes, they did. It's up. They, they lived up to their word. The problem is there's no information on it. No information whatsoever. So they built the garage, but they haven't got a car in it yet. That's okay. I've got information for us. They tell us here, in our efforts to rebrand Vivos and separate our divisions, Radio Gel and Isopet, we have taken down our RadioGel.com site and we'll be launching a new site under RadioGelUSA.com. That's where we were just at. Until the RadioGel.com domain transfer is complete. So I guess they're going to go back to the old one. As we get closer to IDE submission, this is a, a submission for a new device. It is imperative we separate our radio gel division to focus on human cancer and our isopet division, which focuses on animal cancer, and keep our main corporate site as vivosincusa.com. So what I'm going to do is jump over to the most recent news press, to get a description <laughs> and I'm happy since we don't have any for any information from the web and we don't have any news I was lacking information now the funny thing is I'm already familiar with this company this was actually brought to my attention by a viewer at my live streaming event it was brought to us on two different occasions oh you didn't know I have a live streaming event I do every week Thursday tomorrow me and my co-host, Taylor, we go on live at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time when the market's shutting down. We're going on. We're there for about an hour and a half taking requests from investors for st stocks you want us to look at. Now, in all fairness, I got to let you know, if you show up, and I really do want you to show up, if you drop a ticker during the show, I'm not going to get to it. The reason for that is I got to announce that I'm going to have this show that people show up. So I put out a placeholder for the video around 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, the comment box is there and people start dropping comments. Well, I do go by first come, first served. So by the time four o'clock rolls around, my plate is full. I've got seven or eight stocks, if not more. So I just don't have room to do anymore. So in saying all that, my point, get your ticker in early if you want me to look at it. As I said, I post a placeholder for this video around 11. Wherever you follow me, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, I'm going to post it there as well. So you can get in and get your ticker. Guaranteed, we're going to look at it and that'll give me more time to give you good research for what you want to talk about. All right. So what is this company about? Well, this is very interesting. VivoSync has developed a Ethereum 90 based injectable brachytherapy device to treat tumors in animals, that's their isopet division, and in humans, this is their radio gel division. Using the company's proprietary hydrogel technology, brachytherapy uses highly localized radiation to destroy cancerous tumors by placing a radioactive isotope directly inside the tumor. The injection delivers therapeutic radiation from within the tumor without the entrance through the body. So you don't have any of those side effects. They are literally injecting a small radioactive isotope into the tumor. So now 
And since it's just radiating, it doesn't have any force. The radiation doesn't go very far, just into the tumor. And it's not coming through your skin, through your flesh, your muscles, your organs. You're not being poisoned. So you get to keep your hair. You get to keep your breakfast. This feature allows the safe delivery of higher doses needed for treating non-resectable and radiation-resistant cancers. Now they break it down for you how it works here. Radiogel is a hydrogel liquid containing a tiny uridium-90 phosphate microparticle that may be administered directly into a tumor. The hydrogel is a uridium-90 carrier at room temperature that gels within the tumor interstitial spaces after injection to keep the radiation source safely in place. So the gel goes in, solidifies, and holds that little nugget right where it's at. They go on to tell us uh, radio gel has a short half-life, delivering more than 90% of its therapeutic radiation within 10 days. 10 days, folks. Other available treatment options require up to six weeks or more to deliver a full course of radiation. And you feel like death for six weeks. You don't want to do anything. Now you're going to go into the doctor. You're going to have this isotope injected into your tumor. You're going to go home. You're going to live your life. You're going to feel good. And after 10 days when the tumor has been burned out and killed, you don't have to do anything but get a checkup. The thing just disintegrates. Everything leaves microparticles of phosphates that have no harm to humans whatsoever. The FDA does not require pre-market approval for veterinary devices. So no additional approval was required to generate revenue through the sale of the Isopet. Now I'm going to answer the question that's in your mind right now. Isopet for treating animals uses the same exact technology as radiogel for treating humans. The Food and Drug Administration has advised using different product names to avoid confusion and cross-use. And that's really what's going on right now. They are separating Isopet from Radiogel. Websites, financials, everything. They are making two divisions out of these because they are moving forward right now with the Radiogel. Now, I want you to think about that, folks. Radiogel allows a person to live their life and get rid of the tumor. Now, just so there isn't any confusion, it doesn't get rid of the cancer. It just gets rid of the tumor. You're going to have to work with the cancer in another way. But this stops the tumor from growing. Now, if you ask a patient which they would want to do, chemotherapy, poison me and the tumor, or just get this brachytherapy and poison the tumor only, I think patients are going to want the isotope put into their tumor. By their pressure, I think this is going to be a popular device. And being a device, it doesn't have to go through all the phase trials like drugs. Drugs can take five to eight years. Devices can be done in a lot faster time. Sometimes a year, sometimes a matter of months. It depends on how badly they're needed. And this one is needed pretty badly. All right, let's go get some information about that stock now. Taking a look at the relative volume for the company. Woo, she jumped. We were at 1.1 million shares, actually 1.2 million shares for the last 30 days. Today, she jumped up to 4.6 million shares without any catalyst. Now, speaking about that, I want to share something with you here. Since there is no catalyst, what is most important right now is market sentiment. You want to know that this stock has momentum and is going to keep moving forward if it's got no catalyst to push it. What's keeping it going? First thing, I am over here on a page we have at the OTC market, which shows the most active stocks on the entire OTC market. This shows me how many trades a company has had. Different than volume. Volume tells you how many shares. Trades tells you basically how many people. I mean, if you see a stock that has two trades, well, you know there's no more than two people there. <laughs> Absolutely. And maybe it's just one who's made two trades. But if you see a stock that's had 891 trades, there could be 891 people there. If every single person made two trades, you've still got 450 people there. My point, it's a crowd. That's what you want around a stock is crowd. Not just liquidity and the volume moving, but in trades. 
Now, where were we? We were all the way down here. <laughs> Let me get back down there. I had it highlighted. RDGL, she had 335 trades today. Now, you don't look at this often, so you don't know if that's good or bad. Folks, most stocks are lucky if they're getting 40 trades a day. There are lots of stocks not getting 10 trades a day. If you're getting 100 trades a day, you qualify as hot. You're doing anything over 100, you've got the investor's attention. Now, of course, trades aren't always positive. Sales are counted as trades as well. So you've got to keep that in mind. The other thing, looking at the volume itself. I've come over here to Yahoo Finance, brought up the company, and I'm looking at historical data. This tells you information for every single day the stock trades. You can see what it opened at, what it closed at, what its highs and lows were, and the volume. So I wanted to know how the momentum is on this volume. Well, I told you it was just at the end of February, she kicked up and started to climb at a nice incline. Well, we were just breaking about a million here. After she broke a million on March 1st, she kind of fell. We were down here at 100,000, 300,000, a whole month of really not breaking a million shares. Then came April 1st, boom, again, we hit a million shares. From this point, we start bouncing. We go to 800,000, down to 300,000, up to a million. And now for the last, oh, I don't know, week, eight days, we haven't gone under a million. We're at a million, two million, five million, three million. So what I see here is the volume is increasing, getting stronger and stronger and all that without a catalyst. Let's see what we have for the share structure for the company. Yeah, it's average. Outstanding share count is about 390 million shares. Insiders have roughly 50 million shares. That gives us all the rest, about 340 million shares. Just an average float. Nothing to get excited about, nothing to get angry about. Market cap, we're at about 67 million for this company. Take a look at those financials. Hmm, not a lot going on there, is there? Thank God we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on these charts. So we're looking at thousands. <laughs> Four years ago, we were at 7,000, 14, 36, dropping down halfway to 19. You know, the first three years, we were at least making some money. Now we lost money. We made $19,000 and it cost us $25,000 to get that. Take a look at those quarterlies. Oh, that's not looking very good right now, is it? So we have 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 7,000, and then nothing. Now, the IsoPet is actually a product out there. People can help their horses, help their dogs, help their cats. They can get rid of those tumors. But it's not a big a market as it is for humans. I mean, it still costs a lot of money, and I'm sorry to say a lot of people won't spend that kind of money on their pets. It's just a fact of the matter. But I'm thinking we're looking at this company at a good time. She's got a hot product. It's already proven itself with animals. It's going to prove itself with people. Tumors are tumors are tumors, right? So I'm thinking when they get some sort of FDA approval, this thing is going to start to move faster. Take a look at that balance sheet. They've got money in the bank. We've got about $1.6 million. Uh, total assets, that's about it. 1.6 million, it's just cash. Total liabilities isn't very much, 245,000. So they're not making any money, but we do have stockholder equity. It ain't much, but it's better than a deficit. We're holding $1.3 million here. Taking a look at those disclosures. Can't remember what we have over here. Did I have any disclosures up here? No, we didn't. Um, I don't think any of these really had anything to tell us except the financial. This is about the, uh, the XO CFO still being retained on. They have renewed his contract. Let's see what else we got here. 10K, lots of information in there. If you want to dive deep into the company, forget about Google. Don't go looking for news presses. Just dive into the most recent financial. They have everything the company's done since they incorporated. And this 8K, let's see what this is. Uh, complete investors, one of no, nothing there. But I do have a piece of news I want to share with you. 
Now, there isn't a lot of news. As a matter of fact, there's no new news. Most recent piece of news came out December 20th of last year. Nothing down here. So let's take a look at this piece of news because it is important. This is for Radio Gel. This came out December 20th. Vivos Inc. is pleased to announce that the Food and Drug Administration has granted Radio Gel Precision Radio Nuclide Therapy the designation as Breakthrough Device pursuant to the FDA's Breakthrough Device Program. The FDA did a very thorough review. We are currently working closely with Mayo Clinic for our initial indication for use of radio gel for delivering therapeutic radiation to solid metastatic tumors in lymph nodes. The breakthrough device classification will enhance the schedule priority for our upcoming eye submission, seeking authorization to begin human clinical trials. The FDA's breakthrough device program facilitates accelerated development and expedites the review of breakthrough technologies to help patients potentially gain timely access to technologies that can provide more effective treatment. Basically, this is a way for the FDA to help the company get the device out there faster because there's normally nothing else like it out there. This is the only thing available, so they're going to get it out there as easy and as quickly as they can without cutting any corners. So we've got a technology here that can be put to use immediately. And as I said, we know it works. It's been working in animals. So we just need to keep the ball moving. And right now, she isn't making any money on the pet side. But once she gets the human side going, I think this company is going to get rich fast. All right, let's go take a look at that super hot chart. Let's do some charting. We're taking a look at ticker RDGL, VivoSync. We're going to chart this on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. Now, I've got this opened up to a three-year, one-week chart, primarily to show you how high we really are. We are way up here at 21 cents. Our high for three years is 14 cents. So we are tearing that up right now. And the problem is, is we have no supports or resistances we can grab here. We're going to have to rely on some other tools to figure out where she's going. Now, off of that 14 cent high, she fell back down to this 200 day SMA, falling about halfway. It's like seven cents here, dipping under the 200, jumping up over it, but really not going anywhere. Not until the last couple of months when she decided to break away and start running. All of our oscillators on a three year chart are going to the moon. They are hot, folks. Let's take a look at that one day, one year chart. It looks a lot like our three year chart. She's hanging around the 200-day SMA all this time until two months ago when she decided to start ripping. All of our SMAs are climbing on the yearly chart. Volume is getting stronger and stronger, and every single oscillator is still going to the moon and red hot. Our RSI is up there at 92 on our yearly chart. Take a look at that six-month, four-hour view. Same old, same old. We are just laying around that 200-day SMA, and then on February 28th, she started to climb. She started pushing up on her 9-day SMA, came down and punched hard on the 200-day SMA, and that was it. She went into a full-mode launch. For the first month, we had a good solid climb here, coming from $0.05 cents up to $0.11. Cents. So you've got yourself a 100% run in the first month. She went sideways a little bit, and then she launched, folks, from $0.10 cents to $0.20, cents, another 100% run. But you add it up from the bottom, that's a 500% run. All of our SMAs are turned up and climbing, ripping. All of our osculators are doing the same thing. Heat, heat, heat. There's just so much heat on all of these charts right now. Taking a look at that 20-day, one-hour view. Now we have a solid run. We have a low bubble in this corner of about seven and a half cents, high bubble in that corner of 21 cents. That is almost a 300% run right there. You can see she was climbing nice and easy, fell down to the 50, came back up on top of that, got her footing, jumped up onto the 200 hall, got onto her nine day, and that was her escalator. She's been riding that nine day all the way up, not even touching the 20 day SMA. All of our SMAs are still climbing uphill. All of our oscillators are still going to the moon. 
We haven't found a code chart yet. Five day, five minute. Woohoo! That's a rocket. We got a rocket. She went from 10 cents to 20 cents in five days. That's a 100% run. Not even getting close to the 200. Riding up on that 50 day SMA. Got super strong here. Broke away from the 50 day. Back to that nine. Then she started going sideways. She bounced off to 20. Came back up and she's waiting for the 50, isn't she? She wasn't going anywhere without that 50. She just held on to what she had. Here it comes. Boom. She hits it, does a rubber ball bounce. That's when you go underwater like a rubber ball and come right back out and shoot. Shoot out of that water. Boing. And it's off and running again, floating on our nine-day SMA. And do I have to say it? Every SMA is turned up and starting to climb. All of our oscillators, these are the coolest we have had. We don't see any red on our RSI. She's not ripping and tipping, but every single one is still climbing. Folks, I'm liking the momentum in RDGL. And if she comes out with any advancements with the FDA, if she, her clinical trials start coming out and we get news on that, this bad boy is going to run. That's just a feeling. I don't know anything for absolute sure. But when you can get rid of tumors without poisoning the patient, I think that's hot. And I think every patient's going to choose it over the bloody chemo. Absolutely. There is some more due diligence to be done. It'll be easier to do when the website is complete, but you can find information out there, folks. There's a lot of information on Google. Not a lot of news, but a lot of information. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.